1996, the AASHTO Task Force on Sharp Implementation enacted the LEAD States Program for quick and effective transfer of emerging technologies. The primary goal of the Innovative Pavement Maintenance Technology Team is to promote the use of innovative maintenance materials through partnering, effective communication, and marketing. In April of 1998, a field demonstration was held in Cheyenne, Wyoming and presented by Armad Ardani of the Colorado Department of Transportation. As you gain experience with a new technology, you learn how to customize or tweak it. It's like your mother's chocolate cake. She knew from experience to add a little salt to the original recipe. Ardani's audience consisted of several dozen maintenance engineers, garage supervisors, and others from highway agencies in Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska. Because out-of-state travel is a major barrier for nearly all state DOTs, these meetings are being held as close as possible to adjoining state boundaries. Ardani began the field demonstration with a description of the LEAD States program and a presentation on what Sharp has learned about joint seals in concrete pavements. Next, there was a demonstration on the use of the Georgia Digital Fault Meter, which measures the difference in elevation across a joint, and the Iowa Vacuum Tester, which detects leaks in joint seals. On the tail of a winter snowstorm, the team and their guests moved outside to see demonstrations of two different spray injection pavement patching systems by their respective vendors. This part of the seminar was viewed by many as the most useful. The pavement was wet from the snow. These are the worst conditions you can have for pothole patching. But the patchers worked well. It was enough for me to decide I'm going to do what I can to get one. Both the Dura Patcher and the Wildcat Road Patcher employ a similar process to patch potholes. First, water and debris are blown from the hole and an asphalt emulsion tack coat is applied to seal and create a binder for the repair. Then a mixture of aggregate and emulsion is spray injected into the hole under high velocity generating a compaction from the bottom up. Lastly, the repair is topped off with dry aggregate to allow for almost immediate travel. Both vendors claim a longer lasting, more cost effective patch can be achieved using their equipment. The LEAD States team is already planning their next field demonstration to be held in Iowa. State and local highway agency staff from Minnesota, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa will be invited.